All right, so <laughs> just sitting here at Rapid Bay, looking out over the jetty to my left, we've got hills in the right. South Australia has got it all, but Rapid Bay is a beautiful place. What made it even better is my old dog and gun coffee. It's a bit of an advertisement here for dog and gun because it's changed the way that I actually do have my coffee. In the van, I used to carry a full um, espresso machine. It was very heavy, absorbed a lot of energy. It was a dual boiler, cost me over $2,000, and I love my, my cappuccinos and lattes. But dog and gun coffee with the satchels and a dash of milk has just changed the way that I use my coffee while I'm camping. So uh, here's the dog and gun. Have a look at the view. Now I'm here at Rapid Bay, I've got trawlers working in the background, I've got people out here fishing and I'm going to have my morning coffee. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done. I've recently got rid of my big coffee machine, uh, the extra weight, everything else. It was, it was good, I loved it, but uh, I found a better way to do my coffee. I'm using the, um, the bags from Dog and Gun Coffee. They are awesome, you tear the top off them, pour the coffee through. Brilliant shot of coffee, but uh, another, I suppose, lightweight coffee uh, thing that I do. Uh, now, normally what I do is just have a dash of milk in my, uh, in my long black coffee. But uh, if you want to have a cappuccino, I want to show you how I do it. So we'll make a cappuccino first, then I'll do my normal shot um, and uh, show you my actual camping setup for when I'm in the just in the ute this is swag and i'm away and i don't have the caravan with me so i'll show you how i do coffee so first things first obviously i've got to grind my coffee uh so i've got myself some red stag beans from uh obviously dog and gun and i'm gonna give them their first open. They're in a little Ziploc bag. Love the smell. Wish you had smell of vision. It's a little hand grinder. Uh, it's nice and easy. Just uh, spin the top, fill your canister with uh, beans. And I like, if I'm going to grind my beans, I like to have them. Um, ground fresh. I don't like to grind beans and then take them away with me, but it's nice and simple. Just uh, turn the handle and grind my beans. Now I've got this set on the bottom here for this one. You might have all seen them. I'm going to show you how they work, but uh, pretty cool on the road. They can go on the fireplace and the braai. They can go on a jet boil, they can go on the stove in the caravan, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to grind. So once you've uh, I've filled me a little thing, it's a, obviously a um, hand grinder. It's a nice coarse grind with this one. So that Doggies, please stop barking. I'm trying to record a video on a dog barking. Don't they know anything? Anyway. So, this one here, right? It's like the old fashioned percolator. You want to fill it. Oh, we're windy here. It's blowing all. And you don't want to pack it down tight, you just want it to the top. All right, so I'm just gonna clean this off. The wind's blowing all the coffee out of my... Right. So this, then, just sits in the top of this one. And this goes like that. 
Now these will actually work on an induction cooker as well. So uh, you can use these on induction. I'm gonna put this on the jet boil though. You gotta turn it down really low on the jet boil. So you're gonna put the little piece in the top of your jet boil. Sit it up there on the top. Now I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna spin this around. All right, so it's sitting up on the top of that one. And you're just gonna turn the, the gas down. Now it's very windy today. So I'm gonna leave that in there. But, you can see here, all right, so in the top, it'll start bubbling up. The other way, it's just good old fashioned plunger. With a pre-filter. So this one here, you just put your filter in the bottom of it. Uh, close the lid on there, you'll see that. Oh, I'm gonna stay in the sun, there. And then you've got your, you put your coffee in the top. Which I've got to grind some more coffee. This one, uh, when I'm doing this, I like to have this a little bit, uh, So set that to about a, about a four, so more like an espresso shot uh, when you're grinding this one. That's good, dog shitting in the background. <laughs> uh, so so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll miss that in the, so once you've got your, your grind done, as I said, a lot finer, this one and the other one, and that just goes in the bottom of this with your filter in. And then I'm gonna, when I finish boiling that one, I'm gonna boil the kettle and show you how to do a plunger. He's saying, but that's not a cappuccino, that's just a shot of coffee. Yes, it is just a shot of coffee, but with the, <laughs> The little milk frother that you get from uh, Aldi, normally I wait till stuff's on special at Aldi or, or that sort of thing, but these little uh, coffee, or oh, sorry, coffee, milk frothers uh, do a great job and warm the milk up a little bit, but you don't need a lot and they'll froth the milk up great. The only thing is do not go above the line that it says to, otherwise you get milk everywhere. And I just run this off the inverter in the car. So we'll turn this around. So I've got the inverter set up here, so I've just got to turn that on. Plug this into here and turn that on. So now you'll see there that I've got power from my battery through the inverter to this. This sits on the top, I turn it on, and voila, it will foam my milk. The interesting part about that, that's using about 35 amps an hour, so uh, yeah. but put up into the top of the canister. So you've just got to fill it up to that pressure line, and away you go. So I'm going to uh, just press the press the button here. Harry's helping me here. So you're going to press the button there. Just going to froth Nikki's milk up. I've got her coffee in that so I'm gonna pass the camera over to Harry so here this is Nikki's shot of coffee now if you look at this this is beautiful brewed coffee now we're gonna as I said make her a latte now, Nikki uh, likes oil, uh, oat milk and soy milk, so it doesn't prop up as well, but here, Mum. You can't spill it. Spill it. Uh, Red Stag. Uh, we'll try. Uh, finish this. Good that. Really good. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the other way that I make coffee. Normally, just in the Ute. 
uh, when I am away from the caravan, so to speak. So this is what happens when you overfill it. Better be milk proof. Which I've done again, uh, and I don't know how. Look, looks like somebody's come all over my car. You see here, the jet boil is boiled. Over again. All right, so as I said, we've got the coffee in the bottom of here. Uh, all you basically do is, you've got on the AeroPress one, two, three, four, but I'm just gonna, I normally just fill it up to about two. And then you just plunge it down. So the pressure obviously pushes it through the filter, gives you a nice, real strong shot. You can see here that I'm almost at the bottom and the plunger's nowhere near it. So that's all the fluid gone through. There's my uh, shot in there, which is, as I said, almost a double shot. If you drink black coffee, that is, that is really nice. But I've got my latte with my perfect foam up here. You'll see you, Harry. Get my foam out. Need my spoon. Stay there. Look at that. All right, see the foam there? Nice wispy peaks. Harry likes to. Uh, over there, but that. That's my cappuccino. Mm. Thanks. So the cool part about it being is that you can boil that because it's the, the water in the mound is the same as it'll never overflow. So the cool part about it being is that you can boil that because it's the, the water in the mound is the same as it'll never overflow.